Okay, this will be the last video. It's been a while, so um, we're, we're going to make this one really short because this was more about you just fine tuning and tweaking it a little bit here and there and uh, uh, making it sound good, look good, and uh, doing a little bit of scoring with it. So I'm just going to show you a few techniques and uh, how to do it on just one or two things, and then I'll expect you guys to... Um, take it to the next next level and make yours look different than mine and and uh, make it just amazing. All right, so there's a couple different ways to uh, do things. And um, so let's say you want all the pegs to, oh, come on, there's the ball. It's being really slow today. Okay, so you want, when the ball to hit the peg, you want the pegs to uh, make a sound uh, or, um, or to add to the score, something like that. Okay, there's lots of things that you can um, do to make this work better. All right, so I'm going to just shift these things around just a little bit here. Um, let's just do the pegs real quick. And um, oh, having a hard time making up my mind. All right, so a uh, couple different ways. Way number one, um, you can uh, broadcast a message, which is right here, broadcast message to, so when the ball hits something, it can say, hey, I hit something. Um, you can't go to this and just say, hey, when I get hit by the ball, uh, make this sound because in the ball code, we have it backing off of it so fast that um, the pegs and the kicker and the walls can't really register when they get hit every time because the ball is backing off so quickly it, that that just doesn't work. So um, you, you have to have the, ba the ball tell everything else uh hey i i hit you okay um that would make it so that you could have a different sound effect for each one if you did that method if you decided oh i want the same exact sound effect for every single peg and the same exact score to to be added on for every single peg you could add it into the hit peg code right here this one, um, or if you want the walls to do one sound effect, you could add it in here. So I'll show you a little bit of both ways. So for the pegs, I'm going to do them all the same. And then for the, the kickers, I'll do them both different or show you how you would make them both different. All right. So do them all the same. You use the ball code. And let's say when you hit the peg, we'll just add some code in here. So first of all, we can do sound. So we can play a sound right here, just right as we're in here. Or we can just put it right at the end so it doesn't get in the way of anything. And uh, so if I just click on that, it will tell me what it's doing. You know, it'll make that sound. So now, oh, the one time I want it to do something. Oh, right there, it can't go down the hole now. Yeah, there. Now every single peg should make the exact same sound. Okay. Um, now to add to the score, do we have a score? No, we don't. Um, and here's this um, variable here, and we can get rid of that. But that's a cool way if we just um, have a variable and we call it score and we never get rid of it, then it'll make up the perfect place to put our score. So let's make a variable and call it score. I don't have the worksheet in front of me, so I'm doing it by memory and uh, I'm probably not going in order, so sorry about that. All right, so score. Now, at the very beginning of the game, 
you would probably want to set your score to zero. Come on. Just being really slow today. Score to zero. Okay. Now what, what's another cool thing I, I think that's on the worksheet is to um, have a high score. Come on. Here we go. Okay. High score. All right, at the very end of the game, right here where you're touching the trap, that's where the game ends, right? Um, so right here in this end script, we can put um, the high score command here. So if uh, I don't put that in there. Okay. Operator. Okay, so we're gonna look at the at your score at the end of the game. If your score is higher than the previous high score, then we want to change the high score to the current score. I said that real fast, but let's go do it again. So uh well we need an operator. There we go. One of those. I'll just stick that in there. So if your score, which is right here, if your score is greater than, so on the bigger side, than your high score, then we want to set the high score equal to, we can just duplicate that. No, not that. I just wanted the score. Score, and then throw it, throw it away. All right, high score. Okay, so if score is greater than, or high score is less than score, then set the high score so they're the same, and then it'll it'll keep it there. Then when you restart the game, the score will go back to zero and you try again. All right, so flipping doesn't need to be there anymore. So we'll have our score and then our high score. And we can use this dead space down here. All right. Um, but we haven't added anything, so we played the sound. So let's add some change. Score. Bell. All right. Change score by, let's say, like 10 points. You can you get to decide what it is. So I'm just saying 10 to keep it easy. And here we go. So every time we hit a peg, our score is going to 40. Um, let's make room for the ball to die. And I can make it die by just slowing it down and steering it towards death. Boom. Now, if you look at height score, it's now at 130. So, but when we hit the flag, it should set score to zero and high score should stay at 130. And it does. So we did it right. Always check your code, try things out, see if you have any glitches. And uh, voila. Okay. Now the uh, kickers. Okay. Costume. Kickers are pretty cool because they have these uh well if you, if you use this this particular ball uh it already has a couple colors you can change yours to make them have colors or you can use other codes to change the color of something um but this is this this is kind of cool there what i'm going to do is uh just do one of these first we'll start with the ball we'll go to the script um, so here's how you do it. If you want, let's say you want this one to act differently than this one. Um, this one, before we do anything in it, we're going to make a broadcast. No, oh, that's an event. 
broadcast message. Okay, so let's do kicker, which is that one. Okay, so come on. Kicker one. We're going to broadcast. Okay. And you get to decide what the message is. Try to keep it simple. And uh, so I'll say hit and then kicker one. That's that's the easiest thing I can come up with. So or actually it's kicker. All right. Say okay. Now I click on kicker. And then when I say when I receive, now as you make more messages you'll have a longer list. Uh, so just be aware of that. So when I receive hit kicker, then um, I'm gonna do a couple of the same things. So if I go to data, I can change, not high score, but score. Let's say I wanna give these 20 points. And then a sound. Let's see here. What else do we have? Uh, record. Not record. Choose from library. Uh, symbol crash. What is that? Sound? Okay. Let's do that. And you can actually edit these uh, sound effects a little bit. So if you're like, I want to cut a little bit off of here. Uh, if you cut that off and then play it. And you... Now it's not so loud because I got rid of the beginning that was like super crazy. Okay, you can undo if you you know don't like what you did. And there's other effects you can fade in, fade out, and reverse it, which is kind of interesting. Oh, I need to highlight it first. Um, reverse, and then you kind of get a interesting other other way. So anyway, just little things that you can play with. And let's see. Uh, go back to the ball. No kicker. Smogrash, scoops. Now, Simulcrash should be there. All right. <laughs> Play sound, symbol crash, and if you time it just right, you can time for and record the bell sound, and then whenever somebody's playing your game, they think the bell's ringing. <laughs> That'd be funny. All right. Um. So, symbol crash. Adding twenty points. Um, and then one more thing, it would be to the looks of it. You could, you know, switch to the next costume. So every time it gets hit, it's going to change to a different color because it has those costumes are the frames within the, the thing there. So uh, you could switch to an exact costume or you could, if you don't have a costume, uh, you can just change uh, color effects and it'll just, you can have it randomly change colors as things are getting hit um, and not have to have created them. Right, so let's hit play. And there you go. All right, so we'll stop. So the idea is to go through, add sound effects, add uh, visual effects and uh, scoring. Those are the three things that you really need to do. You can either do it one at a time using a, um, you know, broadcast and receive a message, or you can stick it in your um, functions. Okay, so either way works and um, just the idea here is to have fun and don't, um, you know, don't do the exact same thing 
that everybody else does. You know, make, this is where you get to make yours different from everybody else's and, and really go and uh, make it your own. All right, um, that'll be all. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this project.